Good morning. I'm Renee. Welcome to NOLA Curve. Um, today, I thought that I would do a little short, quick, get ready with me uh, little video and tell you all about me. What I do today is pretty much what I would normally wear to work on a daily basis. Uh, it's really nothing real special, um, but this is what I do every day for the most part. Um, of course, you know, my face is all clean. Uh, I exfoliated this morning and put some toner on. Um, and I have a little, little creature right there. Um, just a little one. And, and it's on its way out. So, um, I'm going to put some moisturizer on. I use the Cetaphil uh, oil control moisture. And this one right now seems to be doing the best for me. So, I'm just going to put this on my face, and I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, so, I live in New Orleans. Uh, I'm originally from Southern California. Uh, we moved to New Orleans when I was 10, and have been here ever since. Uh, this is my, my stepfather's home. And so after he got out of the military, he decided that he wanted to come home. So he packed us all up and we came home to his home. Um, and it became our home. Uh, I really, you know, couldn't imagine living anywhere else. I'm going to use the Exuviance Eye Contour Cream uh, for around my eyes. This is a really great contour cream. Um, you can put it under your eyes and on your lid. Um, and it's supposed to lift your eyes. And I do find that when I don't use it for a period of time, I notice a difference. Uh, and then I start using it again and things start to look better and my lines tend to go, you know, fade and my uh, lid seems to pick up a little bit, just a little bit. You know, there's no miracle, miracle cure for that. <laughs> um, so... Anyways, uh, I am 49 years old, uh, no, 48, I'll be 49 in a month, so uh, I am a mother of two grown children, I'm going to let that moisturizer and that eye cream dry a little bit, so we're just going to chit chat for a second. Um, anyways, like I said, I am a mother of two grown children, I have a 25 year old boy, uh, who will be very lucky if he makes it to his 26th birthday. Uh, and then I have a 23-year-old daughter. Uh, I also have a three-and-a-half-year-old grandson who is the love of my life. Um, when we found out that my daughter was going to have a baby, you know, at 19, uh, we were a little upset, but it went away that, you know, went away very quickly and I was talking to a friend about it and she also has a grandson and she told me something that is so true that you love your children but you are in love with your grandchildren and that is absolutely true um, for anybody who has grandchildren you know what I'm talking about um, he's the love of my life. He's awesome. He's smart. He's beautiful. Um, he's one of the best things that ever happened to us. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Uh, all of you know, this is like the best primer potion, primer for your eyes ever. Um, I got this tube Oh, about three weeks ago. This is my third tube. Um, and then it went on Ulta's 21 Days of Summer or Spring. Is it Spring or Summer? And uh, it went on sale on that, and I bought two more tubes. Um, but I'm going to gift one of those tubes to my daughter. So I'm just going to put that there that into my eyes a little bit.
for my eyes, for my eyeshadows today, and, and I've been using this palette a lot. I got it in a BoxyCharm uh, a couple of months back, and it's the Winky Luck. Winky Lux Kitten Palette from BoxyCharm. And it looks like this. And here's your colors. Um, you know how when you get a palette and you know you like some of the colors in it and some of the other ones you don't. Um, I love this entire palette. Um, I have dug into every single color. Uh, it's really a really, really good eyeshadow palette. Uh, the shadows in it are nice and creamy. There's really only one that I find is a little, has a little bit of fallout, um, and that's this gold uh, color right here, which they call uh, holographic. So I'm going to, so now that I've let that primer dry up a little bit, I'm going to put this uh, white color Duchess um, all over my lid just to help set that primer and I'm using a crown brush I don't know what number this is um, just to put it you know just to help set that primer so more about me uh, I am married uh, I'm on my third marriage, and this will be my last one. Uh, my husband, John, uh, and I have been married for three years. Next week, we'll make our third year anniversary, and we've been together for six. Uh, my first husband and I, my children's father, uh, we divorced, and then I remarried a few years later. Um, and he suddenly passed away in 2011. He had uh, a disorder called uh, TAD, uh, Thoracic Aortic Dissection. Um, and basically it resembles a heart attack, uh, but it's not. Um, and we, I'll talk more about TAD in another video, but, um, you know, we went through a couple of surgeries and, and, and passed rather suddenly. So anyways, my third husband, my current husband, my forever permanent, this is the last one I'm going to have, uh, John and I met about a year, about nine months after Scott died. Um, so I'm going to use strut for uh, just to in my crease so anyways John and I met about nine months after Scott died um, after he died I went you know I had depression and uh, I went into seclusion I didn't go anywhere I didn't see anybody uh, I went to work and that was pretty much it. Um, so Scott died in February and in October, my friends conspired with my children in getting me out of my house. Um, they pretty much, my kids pretty much kicked me out of my house, um, for a party that one of my friends was throwing for Halloween. And so... I was forced to go to this party, and John was there, and he was a nice guy, and, you know, we, we talked briefly, um, and then he asked me for my phone number, and I burst into tears in front of his face. Yes. <laughs> I was n in no way ready to start dating. I'm just giving this a light brush over you know, kind of over the top part of my eyelid. I'm not taking it all the way down on my lid because I'm going to put uh, another color there. And I'm not going real deep with this. This is just going to be my normal, you know, everyday light wear. Um, so, anyways, he 
asked me uh, for my phone number and I burst into tears. Uh, and I told him no. I was not ready in any way whatsoever to start dating at that point. And so time went by and April rolls around. Um, for this, I'm going to use this uh, Cheshire for to deepen up my crease. And I'm using the It Cosmetics dual sided brush. I'm using the crease side uh, just to deepen the crease up. And I'm only, I'm trying to concentrate most of it here in this outer corner and pull it just a little bit lightly towards the center of my, or the inner corner of my eye. So time goes by and April rolls around and I get an email from John asking me if I remember who he was. And I, you know, I reply yes. And he asks me out to dinner, asks me if I would like to go to dinner with him. And at this point, I had just started dating again. I'd gone on one date, um, and it was a total disaster. And so I'm like, with John, I was like, okay, you know, he's friends with my friends, so my friends wouldn't be friends with somebody who was iffy or anything like that. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll go out with him. So we go out on our first date, and we have a nice time. Um, he's a nice guy. We get along really, you know, we get along well. And so I liked him. Um, I wasn't sure that anything was going to come of it because I was really, really kind of hung up on this idea that I needed to be with somebody who was like my deceased husband. Um, somebody who looked like him, acted like him, etc. Um, which was a really screwy thing to do for any future guys. So, so, um, but I think that that happens with a lot of, uh, widows, you know, young widows who are still looking to have companionship. You know, they try to, they compare and it's wrong, but it happens if you've lost your husband, I think, and, and then started dating again, I think you kind of understand what I'm saying. So, so now I'm going to uh, put this dark brown color here, which they are calling boots, um, just in this outer corner here. I'm not going to pull it in, uh, just that outer corner. So back to John. Uh, I don't see John again for another month, uh, partly because my children and I gone on vacation for three weeks and, you know, we just weren't in town. Uh, we texted occasionally during those three weeks, but we really, really didn't communicate too, too much. So he knew that I was going out of town. And when I came back in town, I get another phone call from him um, asking if I'd go to dinner with him again. And I agreed. We have a really nice dinner, very nice guy, very polite, uh, funny, but I still wasn't feeling it. I still had that idea that I needed to be with somebody who was like my deceased husband. So a week goes by and he asks me out again. This time he asks me if I will come have dinner at his house that he wants to cook for me. And I'm like, okay. So I go to his house. And he's got a nice house, decent house. Not too far from my own. In a... That really needs to be blended out. See this right here? I'm going to fix that with concealer. So, he cooks me dinner, chicken parmesan. It was really good. Now, he can cook, but he's not a sh gourmet chef or anything like that. He, he calls himself the deli chef, the deli cook. Um, I'm the 
the gourmet chef and he's the deli cook. So, <laughs> but he makes really good chicken parmesan. And so we spend the evening together, you know, talking and whatnot. And I'm starting to like him more and I want to see what's going to happen. So in all of this time, he hasn't touched me. He hasn't hugged me. He hasn't tried to kiss me. He hasn't tried to do anything. And I'm thinking to myself, he doesn't like me. You know, maybe we're just going to be friends, which is fine. You know, you can always use more friends. So, uh, but at the end of the night, I finally was like, I need to see what's going to happen with this. And so to this day, he teases me about this. Um, we're sitting across from each other and talking <laughs> and I, I give him the finger and what's the finger? It's not that finger. Um, it's this finger. And so he laughs and he's like, what? And I'm like, come here. And so he comes over to me and he kisses me. And that is it. It was like one of the best kisses that I have ever had in my entire life. Um, and we've been together ever since. Uh, he is truly the best thing that has ever happened to me. Uh, he's a wonderful, caring, funny responsible, stable, you know, pretty much almost perfect. There is no such thing as perfect when you come to men, but, um, he's it for me. Uh, we've been together ever since he has taken to my family and he loves everybody in my family and they love him. My mother actually says she loves him more than she loves me, <laughs> which says a lot, I guess. I don't know. She's teasing. But, uh, you know, he accepted my children like they were his own. Um, he calls my daughter his daughter, uh, not his stepdaughter, his daughter. Uh, my grandson, he loves that little boy with all his heart. Um, unfortunately, John was not ever able to have children of his own. Of, of his own. So, um, when he got me, he got a ready made family, which he says was the best thing to happen to him because it was what he needed. So there's that. So now everything else on my eyes are done. I'm going to put this gold color here, this holographic on my lid. Um, I really, really like this color, but it's a bit chalky if you're using a, a brush um, you can wet the brush and you'll get way more of an intense look um, but I don't really go for that intense look when I'm going to work so but I do want just a little bit um, so I'm gonna use my ring finger to put this on my lid I also find that when I use my ring finger for this color um, it blends out really really well um, and just, just enough, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going ham with it. So just on that lid. Just a little bit. So there. Eyeshadow is done. See, nice and quick. Um, I'm going to put my primer on right now. Um, I like to put my primer on before I put my uh, eyeliner on because it gives it some time to dry. Um, for primer, I'm using the Exuviance Matte Perfection Pore Minimizing Primer. This is a really good primer. Um, it's a little on the expensive side, but I like it. And it's so hard for me to find primers bright primers for my skin. Um, I have super oily skin in my T-zone um, and out here is like kind of dry a little bit. But my T-zone gets super oily. So I like primers that matte um, and matte foundations. So I'm just mostly concentrating that on my T-zone and I'm just spreading it a little bit to the rest of my face. So while that sets into my skin a little bit and dries up a little bit, I'm going to do my eyeliner. 
Um, I don't do a, white, a wing eyeliner. I'm not very good at it. So, I'm probably not going to talk while I do this because I can't talk while I put eyeliner on. Can you put eyeliner on and talk at the same time? Let me know. That's it. Um, I can't tell you what eyeliner that this is. I don't remember. And I've worn the label off on it, which I guess tells you that it's a really good eyeliner. Uh, and I'm going to be really disappointed when it dries out because I don't remember what it was. So I can't buy it again. So now I'm going to put some foundation on. Uh, I have been using the Maybelline Superstay in the color Natural Beige. Uh, I started using this foundation about two weeks ago, um, and I really like it. Uh, I think the shade is good for me. Uh, it doesn't uh, separate too much for me, just a little bit on my normal places, um, my nose um, around here, uh, but not anything real horrible. So I think it's a good foundation. And I am going to use a, 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 a Real, Technique, Real Techniques blender uh, to put this on my face. I think this is a good shade for me. Uh, you tell me, do you think this is the right shade for me? It looks, it's coming across as a bit yellow in this, in the camera, but it's really not. So more about me and what I like. Um, I'm a sewer. Uh, I make clothes and, uh, you know, I like to sew. Uh, I made my daughter's wedding dress. Maybe someday down the line I will show you guys pictures of her dress and her in it. Um, I, I make some of my own clothes. And I would love to get into designing and making more wedding dresses and formal gowns. You know, I live in a city where formal, formal gowns are pretty much common. You know, we have Mardi Gras and we have Mardi Gras balls. So, um, and then prom and all of that stuff. So I would really love to get into that, into making formal gowns. Uh, I do a lot of alterations uh, for my friends and their daughters um, and things like that. Um, I also am an avid crocheter. Uh, there's not a whole lot of days where uh, you won't find me sitting in, in my chair crocheting. So one thing about this foundation that I have discovered is you really have to let it dry before you move on to anything else. Um, especially I find in my nose that if I try to set this or powder this right after applying it, it will wear, it will wipe off. So I really try to let it dry up before I put any powder on it. So while that dries up, I'm going to do my brows. Uh, I have this really bad habit of when I'm nervous, I will pick at my eyebrows and I'll pluck them out with my fingers. You know, I'll grip them and pull them out when I'm nervous and I'm sitting there like this, pulling at my eyebrows. So I end up pulling the eyebrows, the hairs out of the, 
corners of my eyebrow. So I end up having to draw them back in. So I'm not real uh, precise about my brows. And I usually start with this brow over here because this is the easy brow. <laughs> you know how everybody has one brow that just kind of drives them bonkers? That's this one, um, this one over here. Because right here, for whatever reason, I have hairs right here that want to go up. No matter what I do, even if I put gel on them, they end up going up by the end of the day. So that I end up having this little point right here and it drives me crazy. So I tend to save this one for, for last. I need to uh, pluck a little bit. How much do you guys pluck? Do you pluck every day? Um, I find that I tend to do my, my you know, shape my brows uh, every other day or so. You know, if I'm just happen to be looking in the mirror and I see, oh, I have, there's my friend right there. And so... Every other day seems to be good for me. You know, just to clean, clean things up just a little bit. There. That's done. Now I'm going to powder my face. And I'm using the Airspun uh, Original Formula Loose Face Powder. I've tried a lot of different face powders. I have a favorite. Uh, this is my favorite. But I have a second favorite, which is the uh, It Cosmetics by my pores powder and that one's nice that one's really nice um but i like the air spun more um one because it's super cheap and it works really well now i'm not gonna bake my face i'm just patting the powder on um just to you know soften everything down a little bit and hopefully this foundation has dried up enough that I don't wipe it off my nose. And we're good. Yep, yeah, we're good. Did you guys see that video of the newscaster, that male newscaster who was putting on his makeup? <laughs> that was just about one of the funniest videos I've seen in a long time. Um, he was pretty awesome. <laughs> it was pretty cute. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go look it up. Look it up. Look up newscaster putting on makeup. Um, it's a pretty, pretty funny clip. Uh, so I'm going to bronze my face now. A uh, long time ago, I guess it was about a year ago, I got this palette um, as an Ipsy bonus. Not a bonus, a Ipsy perk or something like that. Um, you know, where you get so much off of something. Um, and it's the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. Uh, I really like it because it's nice and simple. And it's got eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters and bronzers. And, you know, for quick and easy, if you're, if you're wanting to bring something that will work for everything, I really like this palette for that. Um, so I'm going to bronze my face with the, one of the bronzers in it. It's the, the one... With, I'm bronzing my face with this particular one. Um, so you have hit pan on it. So I guess that shows that I like it a lot. Um, and just to give a little bit of dimension, I'm also using the Luxie 514 blush brush. Um, you don't have to use your brushes for what they are built to be used for. Um, I like the this blush for bronzer because I like this wide flared brush. Uh, tip and so I'm just bronzing right here around the temples and up into my uh, forehead down 
down the other side and across this cheek. Ooh, it looks like a lot in the camera, but it's really not. And down across the my jawbone. So there's that. Um, I am going to contour just a little bit. And for contour, I'm going to use that other bronzing shade in there. Um, just right here in the hollow. Well, do that thing. Not real heavy with it. Bring it up. Not down. Up. On the other side. Wow, it looks really dark on the camera, but it's not. I trust me when I tell you it's not dark. And then I'm gonna do along the side of my nose. I have a fat nose, um, and I find that this really helps narrow it down. Some kind of brush that. Blend that in a little bit. See what a difference that makes. It looks like I have a skinny nose now. Um, and for blush, I'm going to use this dark um, one here. Wow, pretty. Apple of the cheeks. And up. Underneath my, uh, for my lower lash line, um, I'm going to use this, that same dark color that I put in the corner of my eye uh, for my lower lash line. Just a little bit. Not, uh, I'm not going to brush it out too much. Um, This is another thing that you can't talk through. <laughs> you end up stabbing your eye. And I did it again. This is the second day in a row that I have forgotten to put concealer on. Goodness. So I, I am going to uh, curl my eyelashes now. Whoever invented this thing really was trying to torture people. Because Lord help you if you grab your eyelid, if you pinch your eyelid with this, it's like, ah! <laughs> Be extra very careful, huh? How about this for a thumbnail? Right? Careful, don't grab that lid. There we go. Mascara, I'm using the Tardist mascara. Um, I like these little bitty brushes. I think that uh, it helps get between the lashes. Fluffy brush, fluffy mascara brushes, I find, I get all over my eyelid. Um, but these little brushes with the little short bristles, they work really well and I like them a lot. If you guys can hear that, that groaning, 
that's my dog. One of my dogs. That uh, it, That's Bubba. I mean, sorry. That's Mo groaning. Uh, we have two dogs. Uh, Bubba and Mo. Bubba is a half German Shepherd, half Basset Hound. Mo, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and it, when everybody, when it's, when anybody ever asks me what does Bubba look like, um, I always say, imagine a dog named Bubba. That's what Bubba looks like. Um, he's brown. He's short. But he's a big dog. He weighs like 60 pounds because he has that German Shepherd. You know, he's got German Shepherd in him, so he's kind of a big dog. But he's short at the same time. He's real long and wide um, like a Basset Hound. Um, and he has special paws like a Basset Hound. You know how Basset Hound paws turn out? Well, Bubba's paws turn out. Um, he's adorable. I'll, I'll put a picture of him up later. Uh, and then Mo, our groaner, is a half chow, half black, half black chow, half black lab. Um, so when, when he has all of his hair, he's super fluffy and he's just gorgeous. Um, but because it's so hot in South Louisiana during the summer, um, we shave him for like six to eight months out of the year. Um, just so he's not so hot. And when, when he's shaved, he's about half the size <laughs> of what he normally is when he's got a full body of hair. Uh, and he looks like a puppy. But he's not a puppy. Uh, he's our old man. He is 14 years old. Uh, getting up there in age. Having a little bit of problems getting up. You know, off the ground. He has some arthritis in his hips. But other than that, he's super healthy. Then we have a cat. The psycho cat, as my husband puts it. That's it. My makeup is done. I'm going to go do my hair. And I'll come back and say farewell. Bye. For now. I'm back. Hair's all done. I'm all curled up. Um... So that, this is pretty much my everyday go to work um, look. Uh, pretty basic makeup when I don't want to go like really, really extreme with my makeup. Um, that's it. Uh, if you liked this video and you found anything useful or interesting, or give me the finger, that one, and uh, hit the little subscri subscribe button below. And, you know, we'll put out some more and we'll see how it goes. So anyways, you guys all have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.